Hello friends, welcome to our channel Aha Jindagi Tricky Maths. In this lecture, we will discuss some important concepts about area of a triangle and we will discuss some important formulae which will help in solving the problems. Okay, so let's start. See, important results on triangles. First one is sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Okay. So we will try to understand with the help of a figure. Suppose this is your triangle A, B, C and the angles are small a, small b and small c. So A plus B plus C will always be equal to 180 degree. Okay. So in case of equilateral triangle when all the angles and all the sides are equal it will be each angle will be equal to 60 degree okay so next the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side so we will try to understand this with the help of a sketch see this is a triangle a b and c okay Suppose this is side A, this is side B and this is side C. So what is given? The sum of any two sides is always greater than the third side. Suppose A, point A, that is we will try to understand. Suppose A plus B is not greater than C, it is equal to C. So in that case, what will happen? Point A of that is vertex A will lie somewhere here. Okay. That is it will not form a triangle. It will form a line. That is point A will, will lie on the line BC. Okay. So BAC will be collinear and it will not form a triangle. So, sum of two sides should be greater than the third side. Next important point is Pythagoras theorem. So, what is Pythagoras theorem? So, in a right angle triangle, suppose this is your right angle triangle and this is your 90 degree or we can say right angle. Okay. And you have A, B, C angle B is equal to 90 degree. Then this AC, the largest side or the side opposite to the right angle. Okay. This is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Okay. And this is your base. This is your height. So according to Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square equal to base square plus height square okay next point it is median so what is the median see the line joining the midpoint of a side of a triangle to the opposite vertex is called median so if we draw a triangle suppose this is your triangle a b C. Okay. So this is your triangle A, B, C. A, B and C. And midpoint of B, C is suppose D. This is your midpoint and it is D. Then median is the line joining the midpoint of a side that is D. If you take midpoint of B, C then it is D. To the opposite vertex that is A. So this is your median. AD is your median of on side BC. Okay. Similarly, we will have another median as this and one more median as this. So there will be three medians. Next point, synchroid. So as we discussed now regarding medians. So this is your triangle ABC, 
A, B, and C. Okay. Next one, suppose this is your midpoint D, then E and F. These three are midpoint. Okay. Then we have three medians that is AD, BE, and CF. Okay. This will pass through all these two intersect here. Okay. All this will intersect when you draw to scale. Okay. So this point is called centroid. The point at which all the medians of a triangle meet is called centroid. Suppose O is your centroid. And centroid divides each of the medians in the 2 ratio 1. That is AO ratio OD. It will be 2 ratio 1. Similarly, CO ratio OF. It will be 2 ratio 1. And BO ratio OE. It will also be 2 ratio 1. Okay, so next point in an isosceles triangle, the altitude from the vertex bisects the base. So, we will try to understand. Suppose, what is an isosceles triangle? A triangle in which two sides are equal or two angles are equal is called isosceles triangle. Okay. Suppose, e, ABC is your isosceles triangle. A, B, and C. A, B, C is your isosceles triangle, and when you draw altitude A, D, suppose this is your D, then A, D is an altitude on B, C, and here A, B is equal to A, C. Okay, and this is altitude. So this altitude will bisect the base B, C. That is BD will be equal to DC. Okay. So next point is the median of a triangle divides it into two triangles of same area. So if we have a triangle, this is your triangle. Okay. ABC is your triangle. A, B, C and suppose this is your midpoint D. D is your midpoint on BC. Then AD will be a median. So we will join AD. So median AD will divide it into two triangles and area of the two triangles will be equal. That is area of triangle ABD will be equal to area of triangle AADC. Okay. So, next point. The line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to half of the half of it. So, we will try to understand with the help of a sketch. So, suppose this is your triangle. Okay, suppose ABC is your triangle A, B, C, and what it is telling line joining the midpoints of any two sides. So we are considering AB and AC as two sides. So midpoints will lie somewhere here, suppose E, and midpoint of this will lie somewhere here, suppose F. Okay. So the line joining E and F, that is EF, will be parallel to BC, will be parallel to BC, you draw properly, will be parallel to BC and equal to half BC. So as per this, EF is parallel to BC and EF equal to half of BC. Okay. Now we will discuss some important formulas. One more result. 
so the four triangles formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of a given triangle are equal in area each equal one fourth so what is we will draw a triangle this is your triangle a b and c okay this is a triangle a b and c we will mark a b and c and we have to join the midpoints of all the sides so this is your d suppose this is the midpoint on ac e and on ab it is f so when we join all the midpoints so this will be one line this will be another line and this will be next line so what is told here the four triangles you can see the four triangles okay this is your one triangle green shaded portion and other three triangles are this okay so four triangles will be equal in area so area of all the triangles will be equal and area of each triangle will be equal to one fourth of the given triangle that is if we take area of triangle def it will be equal to area of triangle one fourth of area of triangle abc okay so area of triangle def equal to one fourth of area of triangle a b c okay area of triangle a b c okay next point the ratio of areas of two similar triangles so what are similar triangles see two triangles are similar when corresponding angles are equal or ratio of all corresponding sides are equal okay so in this case ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to ratio of their ratio of squares of their corresponding sides or ratio of the squares of corresponding elements okay so please remember all these important results this will help you in solving problems on area of a triangle now we will discuss some important formulas see area of a triangle equal to half into base into height okay so what is this suppose you are given a triangle a b and c okay so this is your suppose this is your altitude on bc and three point a b c this is your height at and bc is your base then area will be equal to area of triangle abc triangle a b c equal to half into base into height okay next point is area of a triangle when you know the length of all the sides of a triangle that is a b c are the sides of a triangle and s is the semi perimeter of the triangle you know perimeter is equal to sum of sides of the triangle so a plus b plus c is your perimeter and take multiply by half then you will get semi perimeter okay so area will be equal to under root s into s minus c into s minus b into s minus c okay so please see this figure suppose this is your triangle and a b c this is a b and c length okay so it will be under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c s is equal to half of a plus b plus c this is your semi perimeter okay and this formula is called heron's formula heron's formula 
ओके सो यू कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट एरिया वेन यू नो लेंथ ऑफ ऑल द साइड ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूला इज एरिया ऑफ एन इक्विलेट्रल ट्राइंगल सो वट इज एन इक्विलेट्रल ट्राइंगल अ ट्राइंगल ऑल साइड आर इक्वल और ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल सो एरिया विल बी इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाय फोर इंटू लेंथ ऑफ साइड होल स्क्वायर ओके नेक्स्ट एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इक्वल टू हाफ इंटू ए इंटू बी साइन थीटा वेर ए एंड बी आर द लेंथ ऑफ एनी टू साइड एंड थीटा इज द एंगल बिटवीन दैम सो यू विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सपोज दिस इज योर ट्राइंगल ए बी एंड सी ओके दिस इज योर ट्राइंगल ए बी एंड सी एंड दिस इज योर एल्टीट्यूड ऑन दिस इज योर एल्टीट्यूड नाइंटी डिग्री सो ए B and C. Suppose this is your length A and this side is of length B. Okay, this is your height or altitude. So as you know, area of a triangle, area will be equal to half into base into height. This formula you already we have discussed already. Okay. Now if you know trigonometry, this angle is theta. okay theta is the angle between them so sin theta can be written as sin theta equal to perpendicular or altitude divided by hypotenuse so h by a hypotenuse is a this is your hypotenuse okay so a can be written as sorry h can be written as a sin theta h equal to a sin theta Equal to half into b into a sine theta, and this will be equal to half a b sine theta. Okay. Next one is radius of in circle of an equilateral triangle. So what is in circle? So the point where angle bisectors of a triangle meet. internal angle bisectors of a triangle meet is in center and which in center at the center and radius as equal to you have to draw perpendicular from in center to any sides of the triangle so in circle will touch all the sides of the triangle and center as in center so that radius will be equal to a by 2 root 3 where a is the length of equilateral side equilateral triangle okay next one is radius of circumcircle circle of an equilateral triangle so what is circumcircle now the circumcircle is a circle which has center as circumcenter and circumcenter is the intersecting point of all the perpendicular bisectors of sides of a triangle okay and it will touch all the vertices that is circumcircle will pass through all the vertices of a triangle so this will be equal to if side length is a then radius of circumcircle will be a by root 3 next point is radius of in circle of a triangle if you know the area of a triangle and semi perimeter as s then radius of in circle will be equal to area of triangle divided by semi perimeter next point radius of circumcircle of a triangle if you know the area then product of sides divided by 4 into area of triangle okay friends so in this lecture we have discussed some important points regarding area of a triangle which will help you in solving problems of the triangle okay thank you